Hi, I'm Holly Clegg, and you're in my trim and terrific kitchen. And I'm here with another Rush Hour recipe. Okay, pizza. Who doesn't like pizza? And you know, this recipe sort of came about because one night I needed a quick dinner, and I thought, I want some pizza. I always keep pizza crust in my refrigerator, and I thought, I want a crawfish pizza. Well, I always keep Louisiana crawfish in my freezer. So let's get started because I can't wait to share this recipe with you. Here's the ingredients and you see we're featuring Louisiana crawfish, but what makes this so good is you have all fresh ingredients. Okay, let's get started. So we're gonna start with, as I said, your favorite pizza crust. I'm doing a thin one, but hey, whatever you have around. We have just some olive oil we're gonna spread on top, sort of Gives the crust a good crispy flavor. Some garlic, and you could use fresh or minced. I usually keep the minced in the refrigerator because it's convenience, and you know me, I'm into convenience. And then some basil. This is just some dried basil leaves. We're gonna sprinkle like this. We're getting it this pizza personality. And then what I've done is I sauteed our fresh spinach and our mushrooms. What I love about this pizza is it has some great veggies in it and we're combining all these fresh ingredients which literally take a few minutes to do. And if you have some other vegetables hanging around, put them on, whatever you like. All right, we're gonna spread our that. And then we have some fresh tomatoes. If it's not summer and tomato season, I prefer the Roma tomatoes. I think they're a little better. See all the good colors, and you know when you eat with color, you're eating healthy. And I'm using some red onions, which I think are a little sweeter on it. And then some mozzarella. Now, you could use fresh mozzarella as I am, or you could use shredded. Either one works, okay. And this is it. I love the fresh, it's sort of splurging. And here we have our Louisiana crawfish. And as I said, I always keep them in my freezer. And here we do. Now you're probably wondering, does this take a long time? Not at all. Pull them out of your freezer. They last a year. And probably by the time you're ready to use them, preheat the oven and get your pizza done, you're ready to put them on, maybe 20 minutes. And you're gonna rinse and drain them so it's gonna defrost them a little more after that. So here is our Louisiana crawfish. And you might not know this, but uh, Louisiana crawfish are nationally ranked by the Seafood Watch as the first and best choice crawfish over the overseas ones. Uh, you're, it's said to avoid any crawfish from overseas. Now, I know that's good because I'm from Louisiana and I get this good tasting Louisiana crawfish, but for you out there, it's proven the quality is also better. All right, put a lot of crawfish on it. I think I did extra this time. We're gonna pop it in the oven, 425 for about eight to 10 minutes. Look on your pizza crust to see how long it takes to cook. And I can't wait to get a bite of it. And you know, I love to simplify your life. I'm gonna give you one quick tip. Make your pizzas ahead of time on little ones, and then you wanna wrap it, and then you don't cook it, and put them in freezer Ziploc bags, and you can pull out dinner just like that on those days you don't wanna cook. This recipe is from my Gulf Coast Favorites book, which has all your favorite Southern recipes, including your Louisiana crawfish pizza. Eat trim and terrific with me. All my recipes have nutritional information, and I'll see you in the kitchen. For this recipe and a discount code for all my cookbooks, just check the link below.